What's going on you guys? Today I am going to be showing off the Evo Goblin Giant and I actually did record these videos before but they did unfortunately get deleted so I will be showing the replays but anyways I hope you guys enjoy and have a great day you guys. Yo what is going on everybody? The new Clash Royale update has come out and with it has come the Goblin Giant Evolution and hopefully the, go or the uh, Goblin Drill will come out soon the Evo for it because they did showcase it but it is not in the game at the moment and I actually kind of wonder like what they're going to do if they're going to release it next season or if they're going to do like a, an event or something for this season or make it only buyable i don't know but we're going to see what this guy has he plays his knight my wizard will end up countering his knight pretty well i will actually go night witch just so i'm not wasting elixir all right so this guy actually like already looks like he's going freaking like a lava hound deck with that knight and that freaking evo skellies all right so he actually goes e-pump so i will actually end up voiding his e-pump and then i will actually go goblin giant in front of that night witch because he has to defend really well right here he actually goes firecracker i could just go arrows just to kill that firecracker right there are you freaking joking my arrows were right freaking there at the firecracker i thought i was gonna kill it but you know what that completely sucks but you know what it's all right my night witch will end up taking the tower and either way so we're completely okay there if it didn't take the tower and it just left it at like 300 health that would have been honestly so sucky just because the arrow didn't kill that firecracker but you know what it's completely all right so the fisherman fishes the knight and the uh, dark prince obviously kills that firecracker so that was a really good defense the fisherman will end up dying to the evo skellies um but the dagger duchess should be able to take it out just fine i will actually play some other witch just so they don't get too much damage just because i know they would have gotten a bit of damage or like probably like 500 damage off that one evo skelly since the dagger duchess did get um nerfed other otherwise when it just came out it would have definitely fully countered it without them getting a hit all right so he actually has a golem deck so this might be a little hard just because golem decks are kind of hard to break through if they know how to play it well like if they if this guy is lightning then I'm kind of screwed here just because my mother or my night witch and my wizard obviously will die to that lightning. So instead of going night witch right now, I will actually go goblin giant. And um, just because the spear goblins obviously help out and obviously I could just air right there. So his freaking um, e dragon should actually end up dying to my spear goblins right there. So that actually was a pretty good defense and it was actually good that I played my um, spear goblin or my uh, goblin giant right there. And it also spawns some goblins and it kills that freaking knights right there right there so that's really good for me i will actually go uh wizard in the back just because his firecracker is looking kind of menacing menacing right there the fact that i don't have my arrows just yet he probably will go golem in front honestly i feel like he's gonna do golem or something he actually won't so i will actually go goblin giant his goblin or my goblin giant will actually end up countering his firecracker I will go Fisherman just to um, pull that Golem away, so just so it doesn't do damage to my tower. He actually ends up Tornadoing, that's a really bad Tornado in my opinion, just because he didn't get much value out of that. My Wizard will end up killing his Golem right there, and we win this match. Alright, there we go, we win this match, you guys. Alright, we're gonna get into the next one. Alright, going into this one, we are versing freaking Supercell themselves, I guess. Alright, so he says good luck, I'll say good luck back, bro. So we actually have a pretty good hop bar right here. He goes, he starts off with Valkyrie. I will go Night Witch just to counter the Valkyrie. Even though I could have waited a bit, I don't want to be wasting Alexer in case he does have a pretty good cycle deck. Just because Valkyrie could go with a bunch of decks like Hog Cycle or anything, honestly. He goes Mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, so he doesn't have a cycle deck, it doesn't seem. So I actually did end up leaking a bit of Alexer though. That's my own fault because I wasn't staring at my Alexer. I was kind of staring at his side. So my Mother Witch should end up killing that Mini P.E.K.K.A. without a problem with the help of that Dagger Duchess. So my Mother Witch actually will end up killing that freaking Balloon too with the help of that Spear Goblins and Dagger Duchess. I will actually end up voiding his Tesla right there because my Goblin Giant will actually end up tanking. So my Hog Rider, or so the Hog could get up pretty far. I will actually end up arrowing too just because um, the Spear Goblins, oh uh, no, the Spear Goblins won't get extra damage, but the Hog gets extra damage. So that's pretty good. He has no damage to my tower right now, so we're doing pretty good for defense too. Alright, so we could see what he could do here. I'm just going to chill here for a bit and just wait for my elixir to get back. Then I will probably place Night Witch or Wizard, honestly. So we actually use Firecracker. I'm not going to go Night Witch just because the bats would have walked in front of my tower. And uh, his like Firecracker would have definitely gotten damage down on my tower. So my Wizard... No, my Wizard's going to target the freaking Valkyrie. Hopefully my Night Witch and my Wizard could just kill that balloon super fast before it gets two hits. Please don't get two hits. Yes, it doesn't. We actually actually ends up back through to my King Tower too with that Firecracker. Even though he did end up getting a good damage. Or a bunch of good damage on my tower. He did end up activating my King Tower, so... That's honestly kind of okay, even though we did do a kind of bad defense there, just because his balloon did end up making the way to my tower, and he actually had a rage too, so that does suck. 
He actually goes Tesla. I'm going to go Goblin Giant in the back. Just because that Tesla durability is going to go down as like as that Goblin Giant is walking. So I don't have to worry too much about the Tesla compared to like I normally have to do. I will actually go Fisherman for that Firecracker. I'm not going to use my arrows just yet because I know my arrows will actually end up tank or, uh, killing that freaking Tesla since it is so low. And this is actually really good for me right now because my stuff, um, obviously you guys saw the fishermen end up freaking fishing all of his stuff right there. My mother witch should end up getting some good damage on the tower. I will actually end up voiding his firecracker and the tower right there just to do some good damage. And he actually ends up placing his P.E.K.K.A too, or his mini P.E.K.K.A, so it actually ends up taking damage too. If he goes Balloon anytime soon, that wizard should up, shouldn't end up helping out. And then he goes Rage as well. I will actually end up going Goblin Giant in front of everything right there, and we have a really good push here. So, uh, if he places, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I'll wait for the firecracker to go, and he actually plays skeletons too, so that's really bad for him, and the wizard finishes off the tower. I will go dark prince in the back, and then if he places balloon or anything, I'm just gonna void, <laughs> like, just get prepared with a void, just in case, but we win this match as well, so we're gonna go into the next one, you guys. Alright, going into this one, we are reducing Shaw. Yo, this guy has, like, some freaking weird, like, freaking, uh, like, spelling in his name, like, a weird font. Alright, so we actually have another defensive hotbar, so... He was Little Prince in the back. I will actually go Nightwish this time just because since it's not Firecracker, the freaking um bats won't like matter if it goes in front of the tower. So we, he actually has a Mortar deck. I will actually end up voiding that Mortar just because he's going to just try to protect it with his life, honestly. So, ooh, Dark Prince. Yes, the Dark Prince actually ended up charging to that Little Prince. That's really good for me just because I made that Little Prince one shot. He goes Phoenix as well. My Hog should end up uh, being able to distract everything right there. His Little Prince does end up surviving, so that does honestly suck. I actually will have to arrow here. Oh, no, I didn't even have to... Er, yeah, I did have to arrow, just because Phoenix would have survived. It would have gone resurrected if I didn't, didn't arrow, because um, I know, like, with the Dagger Duchess, when it's depleted, if all those three daggers that it gets after um, it gets a, the reload back up, if those three daggers don't go into the Phoenix, the Phoenix will respawn, and one of the daggers did end up going to the Little Prince, so it definitely would have respawned. I do have to go with Dark Prince in the middle once again to counter that Mortar. This is kind of what you got to do for a mortar for expo and for um what's it called for princess as well you gotta just like place your stuff in the middle just to counter it i did have to go fisherman on the defensive side for that graveyard just so it doesn't do too much damage to my tower even though it did so much damage to my tower holy crap that did a bunch even though i did protect it a bit but you know what it's all right i will actually end up voiding everything right there just because the four void uh or the like the four um person void does do some good damage and it does kill that little prince as well that's really good or by four person i mean like if you guys play void spell it, it like changes its uh damage from like every like one like if there's like one troop that does like most damage and if there's like two to four it does like the second most damage and like so on so he goes knight so we'll actually go uh knight witch okay so he goes phoenix now um kind of getting scared for a push here honestly i could have went goblin giant as well but the wizard um should end up helping kill that phoenix in the air as well and it hits the mortar too even though it dies right there it did end up doing a pretty good job so his mortar ends up freaking uh hitting my tower that does suck you know what but it's all right so i will actually end up voiding here my goblins are actually doing really good work with that evo uh goblin giant like the goblin spawn actually is doing really good with the mother witch it also does really good as well so i will actually go wizard to counter so we actually did so much damage to his tower holy crap this actually wasn't looking like a an amazing game until that freaking um goblin giant evo started spawning a bunch of stuff so that's really good i will actually end up going goblin giant just to counter that mortar and then i will go void to counter that mortar uh as well and then hopefully no the mortar does get a hit on the tower if i don't defend really well right here then he actually will end up winning no his little prince goes down all right, so we actually use his graveyard here. If I could just arrow and then... Yeah, I win this. Let's go. This is GG's. Oh my god. If I didn't arrow that last second, he definitely would have won. This is a good game. He's just going to freaking snore. But you know what? That's a good match. And that was a really good game, you guys. All right, so this is the deck if you guys want to use it. Obviously, I don't have a second Evo slot, but even this deck would be a lot better with Evo Wizard. But you know what? A second Evo slot is on the way. As you guys could see, I'm so close to level 54, and I will definitely hit it this season when I get another level 15 upgrade. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a great day, you guys.